So this is my do-it-yourself brush skid that I made uh, for brush fires around the 4th of July when people light off fireworks when they shouldn't. Uh, I wanted to get one of the nice Forest Service style ones, but they cost too much. So I built this one out of a 275 gallon IBC tote and 100 gallon per minute 70 PSI high pro sprayer pump that I got on Craigslist. Uh, pretty much everything you see here came from Craigslist with the exception of the fittings that I had to buy new. Uh, we're filling the tank out of the swimming pool with a little submersible uh, little giant pump. Love those pumps. Great pump for the money. So coming out of the IBC tote we have our suction line that goes into the pump and then it comes out. It goes through the pressure gauge a vent valve in case the pump gets airbound, and a recirc valve it, to keep the pump from overheating. Those are all three quarter inch. We've got an inch and a quarter uh, discharge valve going to 50 feet of forestry mop up hose that's double jacketed with a 10 gallon per minute nozzle. I plan on upgrading the nozzle at some point when I get money. Uh, we've got a uh, three-quarter inch garden hose port in case I have somebody else that can help me. Uh, the pump has more than enough flow to supply it. All these valves are gate valves because ball valves are too much money and I don't like having the handle sticking out. We've got a milk crate here with the extra hose. I've got 50 feet of inch and a half hose and another 50 feet of the one inch hose uh, in case I need it. So we've been filling the tank for about 10 minutes. It takes 15 minutes to fill the tank. And we're gonna get the pump started up and show you what kind of pressure and flow we're making. So there you can see we're getting approximately 60 PSI while the pump is running, 70 when it's deadheaded. And with 100 gallons per minute, that's more than enough flow for what I'm going to be doing. So that is my homemade brush skid.